everyone. Uh, today is Wednesday, December 1st, 2021, 6 p.m. You are listening to and you are part of the Historic Preservation Commission meeting. Um, looks like the first thing to do is call to order, and uh, this is something that I call to order. And uh, do a roll call for me, please. Right here. 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 And let's see, we have the notice regarding adjournment. The Historic Preservation Commission will not hear new items after 9.30 unless authorized by the majority vote of the commission members present. Items which have not been heard before 9.30 may be continued to the next regular meeting or special meeting date as determined by the commission members. Notice regarding public comments. Every member of the public, uh, like we have no public today, I don't believe, but anyway, we are still going to repeat this is uh, who is recognized to speak shall address the chairman and in speaking um, avoid disrespect to commission staff or other members of the meeting. Sorry. <laughs> State your name and address when speaking uh, for the record. Comments are limited to three minutes. Um, we need the adoption of minutes for the October 6th meeting. <clears throat> Agenda first, please. Excuse me? The adoption of the agenda first, please. Adoption of, oh, thank you very much. Hey, I missed a line. How could I do that? Thank you so much for watching my back. Adoption of the agenda as a printed and as in hand, I need a um, motion. I motion to adopt the agenda. And I need a second. A second. And I'm looking for a vote. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? We have adopted the agenda as written. Next, we have the adoption of the minutes, and we're looking for our October 6th, and we needed a quorum of the people that were present at that meeting. I'm un unable to vote for that, and Carrie, you are also. So it looks like we're not going to be able to uh, vote on that because we don't have a quorum on that yet. Possibly just a question is, Josh comes in, can we bring this back up or no? Okay, uh, then we have the adoption of the minutes for the November 3rd meeting. And again, just the people that were attending the meeting have the ability to vote and make a motion. Can I get a motion for the adoption of those minutes for November 3rd? Adopt the minutes from November 6th. Second. I second. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Looks like our November 3rd meeting minutes have been adopted. Uh, let's see, public comments, uh, not on the agenda. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any. Old business, I know this isn't uh, really old business, but I'm, I guess we're looking at uh, an old member here that's not going to be here any longer, and I just thought that I'd mention that is, this is Elaine's last meeting, unfortunately, but I, I don't know if she's going to be attending via Zoom or what she's going to do, but she's moving away from Bluffton. So that's why she's not uh, going to be on the board anymore. But uh, really appreciate everything that you've done for us in the historic preservation of Bluffton and your additional insight, and uh, you're going to be missed. Thank you. This is important work. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. All right. So now we are in, into new business. It looks like Katie, uh, I believe you're up. Join us up here for this application. Tonight we have before us our certificate of appropriateness application to allow the construction of a new one and a half story single family building of approximately 2,113 square feet and a carriage house of approximately 632 square feet. You're welcome to join in too. Um, 
It is going to be located at 25 Merriweather Court, which is identified as lot six in the Landon Oaks development in the Old Town Bluffton Historic District, and it is zoned neighborhood General HD. So you can see here is the map. You've got May River Road running across kind of the top of the screen with Thomas Hayward coming down here. This is the lot highlighted in blue. Um, previously, you all have seen lot one, which is across the cul-de-sac, and lot five, which is directly next door to the building's right. My mouse is... That's, I'm sorry, lot four and lot five. Not lot one. We've talked about lot one, though. Um, and you can see here it is in the Orange Neighborhood General Zoning District, as we mentioned. These are the existing conditions of the lot. Site plan. So again, we saw lot five about two months ago, maybe three months ago. Um, and then tonight before us, we are reviewing this lot here, which is lot six. So there's the... Um, placement of the house with the driveway running along the right side and the carriage house located here, I'm sorry, the left side and the carriage house located here at the rear. The first floor plan, the porch is at the front here. And it has the small stoop going into the mudroom here on the floor plan, which is not actually a second floor, it's a half story above the first. Plan. You can see this one has some dormers in the roof line here. Here's the front elevation. So this is the side that would be facing the cul-de-sac. You have the right elevation and for um, minimal slides, I have put the two that we reviewed up in the top corner um, as was requested by the commission. At conceptual, so here is the right side elevation, the rear elevation, and we can go back to these little corner pictures in a few moments. And then the left elevation here. So this is the side that would be facing the driveway. Yes, according to your plan it is. Yes. According to these plans. And then the, which is the plans that we were reviewing tonight, the carriage house floor plans as well as the roof plan here. They're a little bit small so I can zoom in a bit if needed as well as the elevations for that. So we will have the carriage house um, <coughs> faces so that the um, access is from the left side of the lot. This is the side that will face the left. Have the details here, structures, as well as the railing details, porch details, and service yard. Again, I can go back to these. Um, I've included the door schedule on here as one of my comments pertains to it. And then the landscape plan. Um, so this is the landscape plan. Here's that left side elevation. And then this is the lot five that we reviewed at the previous meeting here. And the one to its left has not yet been submitted for review. So you haven't seen this one, but you've seen here and then across the cul-de-sac over here. Our third property. In Landon Oaks. It is the fourth Landon property. There's a fourth one. Yeah, we did that. Fourth, Actually, that northwest, northeast one too. So the, uh, this is a, not the actual site plan. It's the one next to the one across the street has also come in. It was um, Ernie Susie's house. Right. So that, yeah. So okay. you've got, this one is currently almost complete. Yes. This one is actively very under construction. This one is passively been approved, but not under construction. And this one is in the process of review tonight. Sorry. There's a little button on the side that you I did. <laughs> I did. It's a new phone. It didn't work. Um, here are the elevations. So this is lot six, which we are reviewing tonight on the left-hand side here. I put these two together just so that you would get an idea of what the streetscape would look like. Um, the driveway is where the highlighted portion is here. 
um, based on the site plan. So just um, there's, there is a nice lawn area in between currently that will be shared in between the two structures. The driveway for this one is over here. This is the one we are reviewing tonight is the one that's lighter in color. Um, I believe I have the image from the presentation and this is the one that removed the paneling up here, correct? Porch. Is that what you're asking? Um, this, set the, um, in the gabled end. Is this the one that has removed this or was the one across the street the one that had this removed? Because I have, unfortunately, I stole the. Um, I think during our HPRC. One of the two of these structures here doesn't doesn't have the um, vertical element here in the gable, and I can't remember which one. I apologize. I pulled the pictures from the um, previous presentation so I wouldn't have to go all the way through the whole file I, system. I think I gave you. You did. Side by side that had the correct elevation for lack of. That's okay. This is the only thing that's changed on the front elevation of one of these two structures is that the, the element in the gabled end, and I can look that up while you all discuss this, um, has been removed from one of the two so that they did vary a little bit more. So are we building the exact same plan, just trying to the change the facade? No, we've got a third one. I thought, didn't we, in the HPRC, I thought we asked for like so that's this, what I've pulled here. I've pulled the side elevations here. So lot five is the one that's directly neighboring it. Um, so you can see on the left elevation here, which these two, if you're coming into Landon Oaks, it will be this version here is the one that is beyond this house. And this one right here will be most visible from the street at this time. So as you drive in, you will see this elevation. And then if you peek between the two homes, but on the same side, you'll see the one that's at the top center here. And then this is the one that's across the street. So this actually faces the lift station in Stock Farm. So it's, that one is I guess I'm reversed. more interested in the street. <clears throat> Which is this one right here that I have pulled up. Moment, slowly. Front. Yeah, the yeah, street got front, it. so I'm, as I'm walking Right there. But the, really, the only difference is you is added the dormer. Uh, added a dormer, changed the siding pattern, removed the railings from the front porch, widened the steps. I believe there's a window on the front. Yeah, so this one. window on the front. The porch has been narrowed a bit here, so you've got, this is a full, it's a nearly full facade. This is still a mostly front facade porch, but not quite as large as this one. And the roof shape has been changed from that um, shed roof to the hip roof over here. They also have removed the railings on this one. Um, it is required to be 30 inches above grade, but if it is plus or minus one inch, if they're one inch lower, um, then they will meet building code still and have a 29 inch high porch, which will not be visibly different, but could remove those railings. Um, and then the window has also been removed from this portion here. So there were three on this one. The massing is virtually identical. Yeah. I guess for me, my concern, and uh, obviously we're <clears throat> reviewing each one individually, but you know, when we looked at the, uh, I forget the lots, but the, I guess, lot five and four, um, I mean, even on that, um, my thought was that this this third iteration would be a lot different than those. Um, and I mean, this does, it's just starting to feel kind of like a cookie cutter um, infill neighborhood in here. And I I just don't know if the changes are enough. I mean, this is <clears throat> this is really close now to the lot fours. I know you're not seeing that one on that streetscape, but this is really close to that one. Um, and it's really close to the one right next to it. Yeah. We, are, we are not altering the massing of this building at all. Not really, except for the, the one dormer. Yeah, I, I didn't expect to see three of them so so close. Either. That's, that's the feature that makes them so similar. Is that 
roof and the peaked roof and then the roof behind it. Just that uh, in HPRC too. Item number nine in the HPRC. Was mentioned prior two pages ago. Number nine. Oh, I'm sorry, are you asking me to read number nine of the HPRC comment? Yes. Uh, with the exception of the porch roof shape, the proposed structure is identical to the structures proposed at 30 and 35 Merriweather Court. The Old Town Master Plan demands robust, complete neighborhoods. Houses include complete um, houses included in a complete neighborhood are not just one type. They are a range of housing types that occur in a variety of lot sizes. In order to maintain the character of the can't seem to read, I'm sorry. Character, character of the neighborhood to provide visual <laughs> variety and maintain the diversity of the always characterized Bluffton, incorporate additional changes to the structure appearance. Old Town Master Plan, UDO section 5.15.1.C. And then for final submittal, consider providing a streakscape showing the proposed houses with those nearby to clarify vera, um, variety of variation in the design. We did ask for that. We were in the HPRC meeting. And provide the two. And it just proves the point, really. They're very, very similar. Yeah, I mean, to me, yeah, I mean, this is. Usually, uh, facades are, I mean, it's clear that it's the same. I think we were, I was okay at least, I'll speak for myself, with voting for it before because they were across the street and there were some fairly big changes with the roof and the porch. But, and from side to side, yeah. But like with, with that now, with the third one, and especially with that, with, you know, the one that's right next to each other, lot six and five. And I believe the discussion at that time was because they were across the street from each other, it wasn't going to be effective. And I know that we discussed that pretty thoroughly. And you were seeing two different sides of the house, so it did it did look different as well. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, I somehow managed to leave that portion out of the PowerPoint here, but this is the revised roof line or gabled end here, showing that one. Sorry. I think this this building needs a significantly different roof line at a minimum. From the gable, something. Uh, it needs some, as Bruce would say, rejiggering. <laughs> well, thank you. A very technical term. Oh, yeah, I'm technical. <laughs> yeah, I learned that one in college. <laughs> so if the if the front gable becomes a hip, and just you're going to lose a lot of space in there. But one on the bottom left is that lot four. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, this is lot four, which is across the street, and then this is the one that actually has been revised to be this here, um, with the gable end changing. But the, the this is the elevation that. To me, who is not, I don't have any building experience or anything like that. They all look, I mean, from a layman's eye, very similar. I mean, almost identical. And that's what we're trying to avoid. And I know that that was expressed in both of the previous uh, houses that we, so, and then again, reading this through the HPRC that we spent time to review this with, Prior to being here, I was just wondering if you were in the meeting with us at that time. Or so, yes, which I, I felt like we took the time to change as many of the facade elements as we could to differentiate the structures. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, is there 
a reference the massing of the building is almost identical in all three buildings changing a few details doesn't change the massing and they're just as a form completely identical that's why we're saying rethink the roof and it should at least bring it down a little bit the fact that the the geometry of the walls is the same um, hopefully will kind of disappear it depends on what you do with the roof if you do a hipped roof and you still have those side gables they're and they're all the, still the same height it's going to still look fairly similar to the other buildings bedroom or the bedrooms at the back or if you turn the whole slope of the roof the other direction 90 degrees if I mean you've, you've got I can think of like five different combinations you could do that might change it but I'd play with it until it looks significantly different I guess what I'm trying to get to is is other than stating massing how do we how do we define this how do we know the or box roof lines, that we're, roof lines that we're um, I guess massing is just one terminology used but let's just talk about uh, if you trying to decorate it outside it's still being decorated you're still decorating the same house in a different form you're, it's the same exact footprint it's the exact same view so the roof lines, as we discussed, or or you know, putting a dormer in, putting a, uh, a lane, um, you could architectural more, and you can sit there and you came up with five ideas in your brain right away. Um, what so but if we're you not think your about architects. what's we're we're not your architects, we're I understand yeah. that. What, but what I, are I the character what define, is, What's the character defining features of this this um, repetitive form? One is that very distinctive front gable at the same same angle right up front no relief they all three have that so if you turn this so that i'm looking at the slope of a roof and maybe a shed gable shed dormer that's a very different look to this house with the same kind of space inside it wouldn't affect your inside space and if the side dormers became sheds you have no you don't really have sheds on the other ones sheds and dormers have very different characteristics and yet you can still get the same kind of usable space inside does that help you a little bit? That roof is the major component that makes them all. Yeah. System. I mean, if you change that, that would be night and day. I don't know what that's called, but. Um, or commission, I guess. This, the previous version of this structure, the one that was reviewed by HPRC, had a balcony on the front um, that sat above the front porch. There wasn't enough detail about that balcony at the time that it was submitted to get it. That was one of the comments from HPRC. So it's um, number seven for the HPRC comments. It says provide additional information on the balcony and service yard is not enough was provided. They removed that from the final iteration because they did make some other changes. So at that time, the porch roof looked a little different. The materials looked a little different, et cetera. Um, and at the final, if the main roof mass remained but a balcony for example it was added um, and so this was a second story porch and this was uh, let's see because I think you're still looking at the same massing it, it would not look it would still would not look a whole lot different than the other ones okay so it is the it is so the, the roof. roof is the predominant defining character of this of these houses so if it was a double gable at the front or a gable with that same um, hip turn porch. those windows to doors and do a walkout balcony. It's still just little details on the same mass. Okay. That, so it sounds like the roof line is the, right, so the we'll, we'll thing we'll that needs to be changed. Yeah. Okay. Um, since this is such a dramatic change, I would request that you ask the commission to table this application so that you can get a few revised things rather than um, trying to make a complicated motion. However, before anything is done with this, I would like to go through the rest of the comments just in case there are any other questions on it or um, to, to hear the commission's um, recommendation beyond that in case there are additional items. Um, so staff found the um, following items here. The first is that the 
doors at the mudroom, garage, back door, garage, storage door, and breakfast door um, are all listed as fiberglass in the door table. Um, so those would need to be revised to either a wood, metal, or metal clad, um, or a wood composite material that would have to be brought back before the UDO administrator slash HPC for review. We have not yet had a wood composite material that has met the standards that we are looking for. However, it's not to say that a wood composite material could not be approved if, if an adequate one was brought before you. Um, the second is just to provide the revised landscape plan with the updated canopy, cover, canopy coverage calculations. I just couldn't quite tell on this one um, where what trees were being removed because on here it looks as though this is being removed, um, which is, is counting towards the canopy in the site plan. Which one? I'm sorry, um, which one? This here at the front. Uh, oh, because there's an X through it? No, so the, the pine tree, the dog, well, the dogwood we removed left in the canopy calculation. Okay, so there's an X through it on the, the landscape plan here, so I just need that to be updated to reflect okay, that for it, which is that. fairly... Um, easier. And then on the print version, this one actually also has an X through it. So just okay. yep. um, so that I'm on the same page as, as you. The other one is there, the elevation show it as a two by material, but the, um, the wall section has it as a one by material for the skirt board. Um, so that's just the detail here. A one, one by one that, that needs to be updated. Okay. Absolutely. Calling about the belly band. Yes, that was um, <laughs> one of the Board of Zoning Appeals uh, women who was on that board a long time ago used to call it the belly band, and it has always stuck with me. And I've I, laughed yeah, over I, it. I don't, I don't remember seeing the belly band yet. So <laughs> there we go. A new new terminology. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> button. <laughs> and then the other one. So the. The elevations show that it is a two by, and one of the locations on the detail shows that the drip board is a five quarters, and the elevation show that it's a two by material, so just consistency there. And then um, the last one is the item that we have, have essentially discussed with the roof line, so additional architectural, architectural changes made to make it more representative of the architectural diversity of the Old Town Bluffton Historic District. Um, and what I've heard so far from the commission, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is that it is that the massing is identical to the other two structures, specifically in the roof, and if the roof were to be sh changed to a shed with possibly a, um, I'm sorry, a hip with a possible shed dormer at the front um, or some variation of that, it would be a substantial enough change to allow this to move forward. Help me with, instead of using, to, to me sometimes the word massing gets convoluted, a better terminology that we could use to. How about facade? Well, massing is a th is a volumetric right. thing, so. But volume, it's the three dimensional so, geometry. Right, right. So yeah, I guess what I'm looking at is, it, you know, like you said, it's a massing is the whole mass. So is it the facade? Is it the roof line? Is it the roof pitches? Is it the? I guess I'm looking for something a little more. I think the front facade is the exact same as the other two with a slight variation. And they with need to change the front facade. And the sides, the windows are all in the exact the same facades. position. Right. Okay, so I would urge you, um, there is no, the motion will be to table this as if the applicant requests that. However, um, I would urge you to stay away from facade because the changes, the facade is only the thing that is stuck to the front. And those items have changed with the Material, windows, door, yes. so roof shape. So for better massing. Facade is very two-dimensional. Okay, so but you're, you're understanding what we're looking for. So I guess it's not just massing. It's Hope, not hopefully, facade. Yeah, it's, hopefully, it's, what, what I'm understanding and what I'm hearing, the committee would like is a substantial roof line the pitches. Structure. Yeah. Everything else, I think, yeah. we're okay with. Is that yes? I, I, I mean, pink, right. I, I'm going to, I'll speak for myself. I don't know. I mean, to me, the main thing, this is just me. I feel like I'm uh, slightly differing from the rest of the board. Uh, I'm, I'm a big proponent or uh, believe in um, production, home building, but this uh, 
it has its place, I believe, but not in Old Town Bluffton. And this is teetering to me um, where all of these homes, I think anyone, uh, even someone that's not architecturally trained would know when they drive in this neighborhood that these homes are the same. Hopefully you can change it with the roof line, but for me, if I look at it and it looks exactly like three of the same homes, I don't think that that meets, to me, the UDO. You may need a new floor plan. I'm not sure. Um, I, I lived in a neighborhood called, in Chapel Way, Cornelius, North Carolina. Um, I mean, it was antiquity on Chapel Way. And there were 15 houses on this street, and they were all similar to this. In other words, they were all similar in the inside. If you walked in the front door, you looked at the streetscape, you couldn't tell any way that they were all the same. There were different roof pitches, there were different this, that. They had maybe a, a little kick out on the front for uh, uh, where the dining room was. There was. They were all completely different. And I lived there, I, I saw it, it's, uh, and builders built it. You know, those are the examples that I'm using that I know it can be done. So. This guy was a production builder, and it was called Antiquity, and it was on Chapel Way Street. And maybe you can just kind of say, "Oh, that's." Well, we, we'll we'll change the we'll come back with a substantial change to the roof. Um, um, January meeting. So the the deadline for the January meeting is um, next week, the end of next week. However. Um, I would like to see it come back. Uh, but the deadline is December 8th for the January 5th meeting, I think. <laughs> That's the one we're looking at right there. You actually have the meeting dates in front of you tonight. In theory, their draft. Therefore, I guess I'm looking for a um, motion. Um, Sorry, not a motion, table. but well, we, it's a motion. they're going oh, to motion make a motion to the table. Oh, uh, okay. I thought he had to request it. Yes, they've requested that you all make a motion to table it. So it would be a oh, motion okay. to table oh, the right. application so to a future meeting date. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Pro doing proper. Excellent. Thank you. I make a motion to table this, this project. I second it. Further discussions? Good. We're good. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No one opposed. Uh, that motion passed. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank and you. I will we'll, reach out to we'll you. I'll tomorrow. talk to you tomorrow about okay. the deadline um, right. because most of the elements will be the same, so I may be able to give you a couple extra days. Awesome. Not many okay. because i got to get my agenda Excellent. published. Thank you. Good stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, all. Thank you. All right. If you'd like to join us at the table, is the applicant for item Thank two? You. And looks like, Katie, you're up once again. Okay. Um, so tonight, the application that we have before us as the second item on the agenda is a certificate of appropriateness to allow the addition of a standing seam metal roof over the two existing stairways on the building identified as the farm, which is located at 1301 May River Road. Um, it's building 11A in the promenade development in the Old Town Bluffton Historic Zoning District, um, its neighborhood core. So you can see this is the location right here. With the zoning district, it is firmly in that um, burnt sienna of the neighborhood core. I call it a new color every week. Um, and then this is the existing conditions of the structure at the front. So you've got the porch here that has, this is a, um, like a screen situation behind there that's not actually permanent. So it typically looks like this. It just happened to be cold the day that I was out here. Um, and also the day that Google was out there. So. Um, <laughs> And then these are the existing staircase. So um, this is the stair at the rear of the building. You can see beyond it um, is the existing cooler. And then the other stair runs along this side here, which is this one right here. Yeah, OK. <laughs> um, so you can see it on the site plan, which is a little easier to see because you can't exactly get to both sides of that building. 
Um, this is the rear one. That was that roof line of the freezer that you saw here. Um, and then this is the one that goes towards May River Road. The one that goes towards May River Road actually extends beyond the, the foot of the bottom stair to the um, approximately front of the porch here. So again, you can see it. Here's the ending of that stair. So it covers the landing as well, which goes past the arch on the porch. That rear one. This is the existing conditions of the staircase. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, as well as the proposed addition here um, of the covering for the staircase, the roof that they're proposing. Uh, and then this is the proposed elevations. So you can see this is the rear elevation, this is the freezer that you're seeing. This is um, at the parking lot area. And then the side of the building, again, there's that freezer just for reference point. I keep using the freezer because it's the only part that is <laughs> completely different than the other side. Uh, this is the front of the building. So because I'm using the freezer, it'd be way back here behind this. But this is the front with May River Road at the, the very forefront of this picture. And then this side here is the um, rear so that you're seeing this is the top of the stair these stairs are going away from this picture, not towards you in it. Are they required to have a gutter at the front side of the front one? Because it's when it rains really hard, it's going to shoot right into the sidewalk. I don't know if it's a. I, say, I don't know if it's a code code requirement. Only there, there, is a, there will be a gutter at the front side of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there is a square gutter, gutter here shown on. Oh, that. I see it. Although it could look pretty cool doing that. <laughs> look cool might defeat the, the purpose Depends of the on entire. If you're standing <laughs> under it. Um, and then this is the rendering that they've created for it. Um, we requested it at HPRC to see how that interacted with the um, the existing porch here. So it goes beyond the archway and intersects with the um, column. We don't have an image from farther back, do we? That's what I was hoping that we had, and I don't see that. It's, it's very difficult because the stair is so far back in, the, in that elevation. Um, it's very difficult to even get a further shot back because you only have roughly about six to eight feet between the two buildings. So it's not easy. <clears throat> yeah, see, I was, I was kind of kill. hoping to see of this addition put on from that elevation that we're looking at. all that on so is the support going to be just about right next to the right next to pedestrian the, lamp so, right next to the uh, so lamp in, post. in in general the all of the the existing supports for that stair are four inch tubes uh what we're planning on doing was welding to those four inch tubes not to exceed that four it on the what about the one that's up front next the, to the lamp post the, the ones up front those would be behind the lamp post and those would those would uh go down to the ground as shown there okay it's just behind it yeah you can see it kind of right here yeah Obviously, we don't have the gutter on here. Where does the gutter? The gutter goes. The, the gutter down would be the, on that on that front lip, and we'd have a downspout that would would basically go up against that uh, the existing structure. Go ahead. Um, so the HPC is authorized to review the um, certificate of appropriateness applications the criteria found in 318.3 of the Unified Development Ordinance and approve the application as submitted by the applicant, approve the application with conditions, deny the application as submitted by the applicant, or as we saw previously, um, at the request of the applicant, could table the application for further study. Um, town staff has found that the following conditions would need to be met in order to be in compliance with Section 318.3. The first is that um, the Unified Development Ordinance calls for columns to be a minimum of six inches in width, that is for square or round columns with or without caps and bases. Um, and so the columns would need to be increased in order to meet that standard. The second item is that the roof lines are permitted to be gables, hips, sheds, or a combination of those basic forms. Currently, as proposed, it is a flat roof that runs along the staircase 
And then the final one is that the um, roof line should be restudied to create a more proportional relationship with the existing structure, specifically the area that's adjacent to the colonnade. Um, this area, because it is, oops. Oh, that that okay. elevation would be great. Yes, thank you. So you're referencing the, elevation the flat roof here at the bottom. Is that what you mean? The, the roofs, the roofs are actually down. sloped. I think the original comments were at the landings uh, that, that the, the original submission was we showed a flat roof, but now that is actually angled. Uh, we have a, it's a slight slope, I mean, because we're trying to, you know, maintain that, that overall appearance uh, going down. But the, basically at the landings, it will be sloped. Um, very, very, very slightly. I mean, like the, the read the, from the street... I see the this read one from the street is bit, really my concern open. big time. And I, I, I went and stood in front of this location 10 minutes after our HPRC meeting and just studied it. And I do have to say that if we could go back to that uh, one elevation, that, this one, this is a very prominent location in Old Town Bluffton. And this just looks like going to have to turn it. It just looks like it's a add-on, and it's the main street of Bluffton. Um, I, I just have a frightening feeling that this just doesn't fit into the, as we call it, the vernacular or the whole element of our, you know, I'm looking at the farm. I'm looking at the name of the uh, place. I'm looking at the left of this. I'm looking at the, the planters that are planted here. I'm looking at that it just feels like a doggone steel mill utilitarian walkway. I think what we were trying to do uh, is maintain the overall... Um, you know, I don't the, like the, the stairs. The, the stairs are metal stair. Um, you know, and, and to enhance it a little bit, we, again, are, are going to a standing seam roof, which would match the existing building. I think what you want to do is match the existing roof. And in that case, your existing roof is, is hipped. And I think what you're going to end up having to do, if this is the slope going down the stair, at the bottom, I think you need to, I don't want to say hip it, I think you have to twist it, twist, tilt the front part of it off to the side so that they meet in a valley. And the same at the top. And you'll, you'll eliminate that kind of ad hoc look to it. So, I think that will help it. And then once you get the larger column sizes, that helps too. I'm very concerned with how it meets the arc, the arch. Um, it's too close. It's, it's, and here, it, it, you can see how close it is to the top of that arch. It's nice and and cool, actually, too. with the with the actual construction, it's, it's almost going to drop below that arch this way. If it's tilted up and sloped down to the side, it's going to be well above the arch. It's going to be halfway probably between the arch and the upper floor. So I think it, it's, going to, it's going to meet a lot neater. Can we talk a little bit about the columns? Because I know you that. So the columns that you're referring to that would, would be larger are the ones that actually meet the ground, not the, not the existing ones. I think the columns all have to be as... Because, because the supports going up the stair are only four inches currently. I know what you mean there. Um, well, but I, let's go back. We're, we're jumping to the columns where I think we're talking about a roof line here, and I think we need to stay on seven foot. But as a composition, it all puts Because, yeah, the, the columns are another issue, but I think the roof line is very important, uh, in my opinion. And I'm looking at the building. If we could look at the building next door to it, we have this very nice awning, you know. Have you investigated using any type of awning equipment, um, type material, or something other than this flat roof and having? Entry? Actually, you could do it with an awning. So you know, have we investigated any type of awning equipment there? Have we investigated it, 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 anything other than? Making it utilitarian, I understand you're trying to protect your employees, but utilitarian in Bluffton, Bluffton state of mind. So that, that awning, um, again, I think that in 
That's just an idea. It doesn't have to be what just you're like saying, that. We still are dealing with the same uh, hope issues, if you will. Well, if, if, um, or any type of awning equipment. I mean, you know, I'm just looking at, okay, where there's awnings here and there, and there's other materials that could be used you know, rather than just... Well, we, had, we did reach out to Coastal Canvas, who's based out of Essentially, that what they came up with is the exact same thing that we came up with for the metal roof form. And our worry is that, you know, you look around at awnings throughout the area, that's, they're, they're not going to do the same thing weather-wise. And that, that's where, you know. It's a less we, permanent position. It is. It is a less solution. permanent thing. But I guess I'm just looking, I, I, that was just one. I, I, I throw noodles on the ceiling. Um, I think the awning is <laughs> just going to look more like a canvas with, you know, rock. Whereas the where we were approach them is to have that more permanent structure that already fits. Well, you know, the metal stairs. Plus go back to oh. that blue one. We, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, there's something. Uh, they're all flat. Though. I mean, they're not. They are not flat. They are blades. Yeah. Yeah. Perpen parallel to the ground. There we go. <laughs> Words I mean, are high. We we could cover the entries of each door, but. Which are right. or that that's becoming our liability. I, I've slipped on them personally. We've had several staff slip on them. Yeah, if we have a guest slip on them, we are we're getting sued. It's obvious why you're doing it, and it's yeah. needed. Yeah, I, I understand that, and unfortunately, it's not a easy architectural solution. But there is an architectural solution, I think, other than what we have. I, I mean, that's just. I think matching the existing roof will help you a lot. Your illustrations are not helping you. They're, they're kind of basic Photoshop, and it's not really what it's going to look like. Um, so it, it's, it's, I, I, I think maybe you should rethink the slopes and try to make it look more like the rest of the building as much as possible. The roof, it's the, the roof material, the edge treatment. You know, what does the edge of this little roof look like? That's well, important, more important than people realize. Could you just take from the top up there and then come down with a complete slant all the way down? Well, you, so it's a slant, the whole, the whole, you in do other want words, it it's above, the, but it's slanted. You do want it to follow the stair slope because if it gets, if it starts off higher, or goes higher, you're going to get more rain. You want to keep it kind of close to the stair oh. slope. So that it actually provides cover. Does that make sense? Could you have it yeah. going over the step so it has some another? Could you have it extending over the step? Have a roof line that I'm just again I throw noodles on the ceiling. Would it help? And would so, it help if we wrapped the? Well, this is changing the the delineation of the standing seam. But if we sloped it towards the edge of the stair wrap the edge of the stair excuse me the of the the support for the for the standing seam with standing seam so that i don't it, think that's what the rest of the building has though right there's nothing no, it, wrapped it on. doesn't I'm, no I'm, it should I'm match sorry, the rest the of question. the building okay. i wouldn't yeah. introduce a new edge detail okay. i think that would hurt you right and, and here if we're looking at that bottom left my question is is why can't we in going with a lane, but if you followed that line going down rather than boom, 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 and then a, could you just, Katie, if you could. Could you raise the, at the top of the stairs, raise that, that up to the same height as the main roof, hip the very top, and then somehow work a shed down, and then hip something on the bottom? I miss Zoom. We could have sketched all over this thing. <laughs> I, I think that, that uh, we are somewhat limited with the overhang of the building as well. Right, that's your property you know, line, so right? So that's, that's the problem with yeah. having to do that. You know, the, you have an overhang of the building. So once you get up to that point... How close would, are you at the pro to the property line there? They're touching it. Oh, they're yeah. right on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a footprint. Oh, wow. so, so that's, that was the unfortunate <laughs> part when the building was originally... Could you, um, is that that roof line hits right in the center of the stairs? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, figure out a solution. I'm all, all ears to try to figure out the best solution. I don't want it to look awful. Yeah. Is there a gutter on the main structure? 
There was not. There was not one put on. Is there now? On the main stage. That would sort of help you only on those dewy mornings, but. Um, and, and maybe beef up at the bottom and continue the arch situation. That'd be hard to connect to. Oh, you mean? In other words, um, put another arch. Um, similar design. In other words, it's a stucco. It's it's brought out. You have a. They're not rhythming anymore, but you have another arch. Cut. Footprint, unfortunately. That yeah. was like that's that that whole uh, right away in between us is yeah. all promenade. Yeah. So Monday anything room. we had to put over there, whether it be a roof line, stairs were were gifted to us to use. It. I'm sure Herbsberger, Herb, 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 Herb Kurzman, if he had a legitimate, I mean, he sounds like he's a reasonable guy, and if it was because of an architectural element, and he wants to make sure that the, you know, place looks proper too, I'm sure he would, that he approved what you were doing here, being in Europe, but he'll be back in, you know, in other words, something that you could come up with. I will say I'm that just, I'm thrown. Yeah. part of the challenge of this of this site, not just their site, but of the promenade as a whole, is that every bit of space that is not part of one of the footprints does count towards their open space requirement for the development. And so any time that anything is not retained by the POA as that open space, it removes from that, that larger number. And at some point, they hit a threshold. I do not know what that how close they I mean, are to that number. Talking the interest. I mean, you're not talking much. I don't know. Correct, but it still is, it's still towards that number. And so I don't know what their right. situation is in the, as a development as a whole, but at some point it does become a problem because they are restricting common space. So that, that may be a challenge with that space there. Yeah. This stuff, I mean, for, yeah, go ahead, sorry. It's a, you know, you, I, I, again, I'm going back to some kind of a different material awning, um, a different pitch, a different, uh, rather than following the stairs, but rather than accenting the stairway, which this is definitely going to do, it's going to be really put that stairway into prominence is, Utilize this architectural opportunity to get away from that prominence and develop something so it's not. So the so the standing seam roof on say the 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 rear uh, one uh, can we are we okay with that Are you guys okay with that one and and the scope of that The back stair I guess I'm not having You're talking about the back stair Yeah, yeah, yeah the back stairs I'm not personally I'm not having an issue because that's the back of the house. Not it's not on May River Road. I know it's similar design, but uh, I'm personally not feeling uh, any feeling towards that. Yeah. So just to be clear, it does not meet items one and two. Um, it, it is not intersecting with the front porch, so it doesn't conflict with item three, but um, it is still the flat roof with the um, four inch pipe. And, and that's if that is something that the HPC sees as a reasonable because we don't have a deviation. That's it, it we can look be, at the back of that. It, it will be a minimal a minimal slope at at the landing and the back porch. Yes. So if we could have an elevation in the back porch, or the back stair. Uh, the, oh, yeah, right. we're having it up at the, the top landing, but everything else is on a slant. That's correct. I mean, even the one at the top landing has a slight slope. I mean, we're limited from where the, you know. Eve is. Exactly. Um, Katie, to put you on the spot, you can say, is there a definition of a, uh, what constitutes a flat roof? And uh... There's not within the historic district. In the highway corridor, it is 4 and 12 or lower. So this doesn't mean that picture. That, this is not in the highway corridor. Yeah, right. It just, that's what constitutes a flat roof in other sections of the ordinance. In this one, it is just that flat roofs are not permitted and it does not give that number. So if it is pitched at some point, um, I would like to see the number on it, but I don't, 
indicates not a specific number as long as just it Just an idea, and I don't know if this is something you want to maybe even talk about, but can we separate these two porches and make a motion that allows one versus the other? Um, and I feel, I don't know if having the back would be uh, advantageous for you and your clients and everything, but at least you could get that done and have the front still worked on. Um, I mean, I'm just. Um, Katie, is that, uh, could that be done? Can we separate the? Um, that, that could be done. I, I um, can't get this to load. I'm sorry. The only thing that I caution with that is that the elements should have a, a relationship with each other. And when one is being approved this way, but we're expecting the other one to change, um, they, it will still need to have some sort of relationship with the one that's approved without looking like the one that's approved because that's what we're looking at today. Why do we have to have the two approved? I mean, in a sense, the one's the back stairs and one is the front of the house. Um, so I guess architecturally, does it really, uh, I'm not that uh, most concerned about making sure that these two are uh, juking and jiving together. There's one of my other terms. Some degree, I think, for sure. I don't understand. I mean, the the top landing part, you're not going to see. I mean, as long as there's a slope, you're not going to see that from the road anyway, if there's a slope or not. Can I hand right? this? <laughs> this is where I want my Zoom. Um, what are you charging for that? Right? <laughs> it's worth every cent you pay me. Um, um, I what I was playing with was a really simple roof form that comes off at an angle, slopes down from the top, at the top of the stairs, just cascades down the stairs with the rest of it. So it's, a, it's, it's how the roof wants to go. And then at the bottom, angles back out. What was really bothering me was that front post, like in the right of way. And what I did was I copied the same arc of the arch as a metal bracket that would come off and kind of That's what take use. some of the vocabulary from the building you have, match the roof, match the roof color, match the roof detail as much, edge detail as much as you can. You? You've got a lot more mass on top than you do on this, so you can just, you'll have to downscale some of it. But if you just do a little metal bracket at the bottom, it gets rid of that kind of itchy extra hmm. post. Um, in, in that sketch, and I, I thank you. <laughs> um, but also, I, I just want to make sure that you know on the ports for the roof, at, not that front portion, but as we go up the stairs, keep it maintaining that same profile of exact the supports that are there. Since we're welding to those, or is the committee saying that we actually have to weld a larger piece to those? I have a hard time with that because it does not want to be bigger. It wants to be, you know, the, the, vo the historic vocabulary of a steel fire escape is really light pieces of steel. They're always very small. Those aren't really columns as much as steel supports. Yeah. I wouldn't treat them like columns. They're not it's holding up part of the building. So if a motion is made similar to that, please make sure it's specified as to why it can deviate from the standard. Yeah, so in other words, there's, if we're allowing a column less than six, one, the motion has to be yeah. made, for example, on the back, if we, if someone decides to make a motion to make the back stairs, it has to make sure that we incorporate why is one and two precedent. You yeah. Know, what are we, why are we setting a precedent and how does that precedent carry through for other people you coming us to us in two years from now and said, well, you did it there. Well, yeah. we're not doing it. I mean, you know, so we need yeah. to, we so have to watch ourselves. Essentially, a six-inch column is not appropriate for a fire escape. Right. It's just um, not, it's not how, they're, not how they're built historically. To just keep in mind that while this is a metal fire escape style stair, they are all technically fire escapes um, for egress, for third stories mostly. And throughout the entire promenade, this is something that we see as exterior stairs. On the wood ones, for sure. And while they are currently a lot of wood stairs, they are not all going to always be wood stairs, and they may not appear to have the same profile as the stairs that we are looking at tonight. So just 
If this um, were wood, I would look at it as a column. Yes. But steel stairs are have a different Actually, character. Actually, having it steel is much better for fire. We were Googling around the area there. I was looking for other steel stairs. I didn't see any. I can't think of any. Today, I cannot think of any, but that does not. Kind of Bluffton room? No, oh, that's all interior, isn't it? No, there's, a, there's an exterior there is a on the rear of that. Side that goes up to the new rooftop bar. But that, and that's a... Metal. That's a metal. Is it metal? If I remember. Yeah, Bluffton room, I think, has something. Take us to the Bluffton room. Take us to, take us to the Bluffton room. I don't think Captain, what do you have some outside, outside the stairs side, I think. I think on the other side near the parking lot. Don't go out enough, Katie. <laughs> Boy, there, there it is. There it is. Yeah, ah. yeah so uh, those supports, are those six inch supports? No. I'd be surprised I if they were. They yeah, I, I don't think those are six inch. Well, well, more than that. This was one of the first buildings in this development. I was here. But there is a metal stair there that. The roof. I haven't been to the roof yet. You got to go There's inside an interior, and yeah. then go up more steps. There is. There, yeah. there are. Well, also to get to the rooftop bar. Is there a rooftop bar there? Yeah, there's an elevator that goes to the top too. Oh, I would hope so. Yeah, so that's kind of proving my point. That's, I. Be amazed if those were six inch posts. I'm, I still stand by what I said. I agree with I agree with you on that. <clears throat> okay. Well, is there any uh, is there any additional input? Is there any further discussion? Is there someone that wants to uh, present a motion that? Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do understand what you're looking for. I, I just want to make sure that you know um, the, we're okay with the the rear stair and the side stair. If, if we make the sketch or a similar sketch to to what we got, that will be acceptable. Uh, did any everyone look at the sketch? I mean, does someone have any more additional comments on? Because we're well, I was just. I mean, this this sketch. I guess uh, you're. Um, there would not be a column next to where, I mean, next to the street post, the, the street light. Um, that that would only be I at guess. that that bottom section, if you will. So we've eliminated. That, that you that still have columns going up the stairs, not columns, but you still yeah. have supports going up the stairs. But now that one, the you got the street post and you had that other post there that was clunky. By you putting this arch in it, support of art. I got rid of that. It's it's kind of levered out that way. Wait, it's a little lighter. Can, can I take a look at the sketch? Yes, please. please. I, <clears throat> but I encourage you to see if you can find somebody who maybe has some graphic skills that can make it yeah. look the way it really will look. Right, and then present it, it to us it, in, a, in a better yeah. Would it would it be acceptable if, as you have that archway, similar curved archway? Would it be acceptable? Because we, we were really trying to stay away from supporting anything off the building. Would it be acceptable if we bought down a six-inch metal column to the ground, on, on the, basically on the side, almost like you're having a cantilevered? You're supporting it off of that, but it's slap up against the building. You, you want the whole structure really freestanding. You don't want to hang anything off the side of the building. I'm not saying, I'm, yeah, I don't want to hang anything off the, off the right. building. What I'm saying is it, for that bottom portion at the two, right next to the archway, if we had a metal support that came down, bottom portion. It should look okay, but it's going to be really important how you treat that edge and how that meets the building. Because if it's just kind of a, I don't know, if, if all I see is roof and a column coming out, 
Don't Couldn't start that, against no, the building. No. Couldn't that column be painted in the same color? I don't, I don't know if you have a detail or or uh, something that just looks a little elegant. I'm going to draw something. Why can't you just... You're putting a column... I mean, you're, it sounds like you're going to take a, a supportive column, slap it up against the building, and that's what you're going to use for that arch. So this has become the supportive... Oh, now he's, having, he's talking about having... Oh, you're suggesting they no. use... A I, supportive I'm, column, because I, I don't think... We're trying to eliminate another column, so I'm, you're not, I'm suggesting that you're basically having um, a column up against that, that stucco portion that is that... Excuse me. Uh, that, that is basically supporting... Right. Well, now you don't need the arch. The arch was actually a functional... Right. Support. So without right. that, you don't need that. But and like I'd almost arch. keep it cleaner. That so way. It, so basically going straight across then. But I like the arch. It depends. It... Play with it both ways. Play with a full arch. I wouldn't do a half arch like I have because okay. the half arch was a bracket. Yeah. Um, you could play with a full arch, just toying with the same kind of curve that, that you've that, got. That would only be at that portion right. that you know we're talking about the breezeway. That's right. Right. And the rest of them would be would match the scale and size of of basically what we're looking at. Yeah. See if your your metal worker can can give you some yeah. sketches or something. And, they and should be able to do some shop drawings for you to give you some ideas. I see that you you wrote in the metal column beyond. Correct? Is that? What I you're wrote that. About? Okay. Um, but he's saying go ahead and put one up front. Well, just put one, but still have. I guess I'm not coming across well is taking half the arch like you have drawn, so you you have a continuation of that. Well, I'm saying if you're going to do an arch, do a full one, not a half one. The half one's a bracket. It looks odd to see a bracket end in a column. Physics. Right. No, they did whole. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically saying, though, to clean that instead of the arch now that if we're putting a post. If you're going to go support. ahead and put a post, you can play with the detail. Don't yeah. make it, you know, it could end up cheesy if it gets too But what you're doing also in the but. front here is you're not having that flat. That's correct. And that, I think, is what you've drawn is very important, is having another. Something. It, it something has other to than have. It, you will have a valley once it meets that, the. Better is going to be on your side, on the side now. Yeah, you just move it to the side. Right. I like Which, your, you know, top too. Yeah. And it would be nice to have a true step away. Let me see the buildings and what this would look like from the street. Oh, the. The little, River, the little rendering across the street, a rendering. So, in other words, having something that shows we're playing, we're playing designer on you here. But yeah, how much were you charging for you? You want so that? I, 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 <laughs> um, I'd like to keep a second and show it in the record, okay. at least. But I can, if yeah. if it's something that you want to share, I'm happy to. Can I see? Put that column up front again. Gotcha. Jesse, I can stay up there with you when you're done. I okay. just will grab it at the end of the meeting. Guess what we're saying? Just come up with a new design. Yeah. <laughs> table. Well, I moved well, to table this. <laughs> Something that is prettier. Well, to look and, and, and it's just I a guess little. The, it's the, too utilitarian. It's little, but the yes, question is, is if we tabled it, we're tabling both of them. And my curiosity is understanding what we're trying to do is could we break them apart? And instead of tabling this whole thing, make a motion, Katie, help me if we can, and you know, making a motion that allows us to approve that back one. Oh, yeah. And then having uh, this May River one be completely redesigned and brought forth as a separate. Okay, so Mr. Chairman, bear with me for one moment. The um, the red text that I've included at the bottom is asks for the left side stair, roofline, and columns studied to 
incorporate a roof line more similar to the existing structure's roof. Is that accurate to what Not I'm really? I'm seeing it, nods and nose. Well, it, it, yeah, I mean, it, it yeah. should match the existing it structure. Should, it should match the existing structure, but not just the detail. roof. And we want it to match the whole facade and the whole look of that. So I'm not just looking at the roof. I'm looking at the whole building's design rather than... I think you were mentioning you wanted to follow the stairway. Well, the stairway, I, I didn't want to accentuate, accentuate the stairway. I wanted to get away from that and make it something so we're not looking at that as an extension or an extension of that stairway. Going away from... I, I, I guess I'm not totally clear on you know what you're saying. I'm not sure. I thought you were trying well, to get away from the utilitarian. I am. I am. Okay. I'm trying to get away from that, and that's why I don't necessarily want to just follow the roof. I want to follow the whole architectural element of that front building. She adjusted it. There's nothing else. So, she adjusted it. Well, I, I adjusted with, it a little. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, okay, great. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I've adjusted a little so it says the structure's roof and building's character. Thank you. Specifically at the area adjacent to the she colonnade understood. to return the HP and to return to the HPC for review at a future date. Now, this is because if the application is approved partially, it cannot be amended to something that substantially deviates, which adding another roof line to another stair would substantially deviate, so it could not be done as an amendment. So this, while hopefully <laughs> You will be able to review this application if they come forward with the roof line being amended a bit. And it will meet the intent of your approval, which are these words here, if this is your intent, so that it can, it will be an approved application that has to come back for, to ensure that it meets the intent of your motion to HPC. Um, so the next time you see it, you will just make a motion that it meets the intent of your original approval rather than it being a new motion. So the first one, the first stair at the back of the building, you would be making a motion about that and then add this language down here to incorporate the approval for the side roof. But the approval has to be brought back before you to ensure that it meets the intent of your approval. And your intent is that it has the same character as the rest of the structure. Does that make sense? The way I'm having it. still has to come back. I'm it not, still has to come to back. Com to this committee. To the commission. Yeah. Yes, the full is, commission. Is that the in, entire or just the? It is the full commission. Uh, no, the, meaning the, oh. the, the rear stair or? The way that, that it stairs? is written in red is that the, they could make a motion that goes before this red part for the back stair, how they wish to approve that, but the left stair specifically would have to come back um, to the HPC according to this. This left stair, currently. But again, that is all dependent on how they decide to make the motion. This is just hopefully some language that may help them okay, ensure you don't get trapped motion. in a circle. If we do do that and say they can do the back stairs, are we setting precedent for the rest of the promenade for them to just be able to just do what they want in the back as well. That is a secondary facade. It's not very visible, but I don't think we had as much of an issue with the back. Well, I agree, but I'm just saying it was the, it was end. cleaner because it didn't have the the big extension on. But remember it. what happened at the end is what did it look like? Well, they ended yeah. up doing all that crazy stuff, at, but that was they they did something after that wasn't approved. They built something that wasn't approved to begin with there through HPC, and they just willy-nilly did something completely different, and uh, they had to it's not there go back to uh. HPC. They had to go back to what they had approved. So I guess I'm just thinking. I mean, I'll just speak for me. It's getting a little uh, complicated. Maybe it's just because it's later. I, um, I don't know if I'm exactly uh, following. I mean, to me, I I, I don't think I could. Uh, approve the back with all of these uh, potential changes with the front. Um, Show us the back again. Yeah, the, I mean, to me, back. I didn't uh, have a problem with the back per se. I mean, my, my biggest uh, concern on all with all of this was just that that section of um, this covered walkway that was right next to the um, Colonnade was really. Yeah, that just doesn't. 
big con uh, concern. I mean, I the rest, I you know. Yeah, the the back is less problematic, but it should probably be done with the same sloped out at the top. At the top. Other than that, it's it's similar. Could you do that at the top because you got such closeness to the eave? They do. In fact, it'll help them a little bit. The next, I, I some, guys, we have a, uh, it has December. to be December 8th. Uh, the December. Submission has to be a, uh, submitted by December 8th. Uh, for the, the day. so the, the next HPC meeting is January 5th. 5th. Um, and because of the minor nature of this, as I, as I briefly discussed with the previous applicants, I could possibly allow for one additional week in there. But um, in order to ensure that my staff report and everything can be published, it, um, it, it could not be any further than that. Um, and I can discuss a, a firm deadline with you. Good. I think we need to extend the full application. Okay, the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to just save this in here. As oh, just kidding. I guess I won't. So, do we have a motion from the applicant to table? I make a motion to table this submittal. And do we have a second on that? I second. Is there any further discussion? Applicant or from the commission? Or you're clear? And again, if you could submit it to us that has better well, we'll, visual. We'll, we'll. Did we? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Did we vote? Did we have all in favor? Oh, we didn't oh. vote. <laughs> the, yeah. We hey, just I'm motioned. Off. Hey, well, thank you. Oh. I, I appreciate somebody watching my back. And let's see. So we have a motion. We had a second. We had no discussion. So therefore, I have to have a vote. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Motion passes. And thank you, Katie. Perfect. Okay. Now you can continue that briefly Sometimes before we move on to the next item. The if you'd like. And, you know, it's always no, no. You're, okay. No, I'm sorry. Good. I just have to make sure my motions get done no, before no, the discussion no, happens. You're good. Can't interrupt you're good. a motion. It's good to yeah. It's good for Katie to keep me in line. So thank you. <laughs> okay, and I will reach out with you. Um, the official submittal deadline is the eighth. Um, however, I'm allowed till the fifteenth, if which is the following Wednesday. To get on that agenda still. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you sure the text. front column has um, to be big. If the front column matches the rest of it like a fire escape, I'm not sure it has to be big. I think it's we better have, if it's not big. Uh, Katie, we have another thing. It's the adoption of 2000. Thank you. Okay. We have two extra items. Two extra items that are, and uh, the first one is the adoption of the Historic Preservation Commission meeting minutes. Or dates, dates, excuse me, dates. Right. Um, for 2022. Elaine, <laughs> I want you to make sure you keep these <laughs> near and dear to your heart. And whenever you see a meeting coming up. And if you all go back on Facebook, I'll I'm just missing, watch. Yeah, I'm missing it. I'm missing <laughs> yeah. it. So, uh, Katie, go ahead with. Uh, um, we have looked at the dates that are on the, the information in front of you and confirmed that they do not conflict with any holidays or other meetings that the town of Bluffton is hosting. So if. They are acceptable to you. We just need a motion to approve them. I need a motion to approve. Let's see, we all have a copy of this? I do. Not with me, though. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll pull it up on the screen. Need to look it's at it? It's fine, hon. Here. You looked at it. Here, I'll do this. <laughs> I've got it right here, guys. I'll it's right here. A, I'll just take a picture of it. So okay, there you go. I, I will be sending it out. If it's approved. He's smiling and there's cheese in it. <laughs> They're right here, so it's still the first Wednesday of every month, and the submittal dates are the uh, typically that same day as the previous meeting. But um, so this is good because it has the application submission deadlines, and then it has the dates. And it looks like our next meeting, HBC, will be January 5th of 2022. Correct. Uh, so I'm looking for a motion. I 
like to make a motion to adopt the meeting dates as presented. Second the motion. Any discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed? No opposed. Motion passes. And then as the HPRC is a subcommittee of the full seven member commission, um, the HPC is in charge of authorizing those dates as well. We meet every Monday at 4 p.m. and that is still the case. Um, we do adjust those meetings due to holidays when necessary um, or we bump agenda items around in order to make sure that they all fit. So, um, Or sometimes we don't have them all the time because we don't have any agenda items. Correct. So it's not necessarily, those are canceled more often. but it's typically set for that date. So Yes, and so those are also included, or the page that says essentially what I just said out loud to you is also included in there. I need a motion to approve that. I make a motion that we approve the dates as presented for HPRC. Second. I'll second. All in favor, aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? So the HPRC. Are approved. Perfect. Um, discussions? Um, the only discussion I have is that the Squire Pope Carriage House um, stabilization plan has been finalized. Um, this is to the preservation plan, so there's no, this is just discussion because you've already approved the preservation plan um, and council approved it based on your recommendation and this meets that standard, so it's, there's nothing there's nothing being reviewed because nothing is away from what it is. We just actually have the construction documents um, to be able to move forward with stabilizing the Square Poke Carriage House. So that's pretty exciting news. Awesome. Wow. Um, and so the main things to just take note of is that there's, I believe, one chimney that's going away, but um, that chimney is something that we've all looked at and, and knew that it was going away. It is nearly entirely separated from the structure at this time and is not part of the original structure. So. Um, I just wanted you guys to see that, hey, we are still paying attention to this house. We're not just forgetting that it is there behind the fencing. What's um, the timeline for this? I do not have the formalized timeline because we do not yet have the um, it out for bid. So we are still working on getting the bids for it, but these are the construction drawings for, the, for what it will happen. The contractor is still unknown. So there will be a bid opportunity on the website for those of you listening at home. I don't know when that will go out. That's awesome. What a wonderful town. Question, were those columns spaced wider than they are tall? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they are. They are, but they are they just, like existing. So, all right, so that um, portion, if you go back and look at the preservation plan, that portion of it is the wraparound porch. Yeah. Um, that was added at a different date than the uh, most of the porch. So there's like there's a bay window in that porch end that was not in a porch at one time, and it's hilariously different sloped and everything else, so. I'm surprised they kept that. I would have not, I would have taken that part off. I and they to, still might later, but for right now, the, to stabilize it, that's not part of the plan. I, oh, that the, I met the, I uh, she's in Rotary <laughs> with me, and she lived in this house. That's exciting. Yeah. I think they're gonna stabilize it in place, or are they gonna lift it and then build underneath it? Right now, they're just they're keeping it fairly in place. They do have to raise it a little bit in order to actually get the, the um, cribbing underneath it. But because um, there's coal miners come in and dig. If there is it. a foundation, we have not found any proof of it. Um, we looked for it. We didn't see anything. Yeah. So I think the termites got it a long time ago. Wow. There, that is likely. Um, the last thing is just we'll miss you, Elaine. Um, it's been great having you on the commission and on the HPRC. Good so luck. thank you so much and good luck. Thank um, you. I, we will be posting the vacancy for the commission on the town website if it's not been done already um, so that we can start to try and fill the big shoes that you're leaving, but they are big How shoes. How many vacancies do we have? Just the one then? One. Mm -hmm. Just the one. <laughs> you want to replace me? No. Oh. <laughs> Just the one. I'm just telling you guys, you're not allowed to move I thought, this you're, I thought you were kicking me <laughs> off. Oh, no. She's saying nobody But that's else, all I have for tonight. So thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, so that means that we have one more item on our agenda. And uh, I'm looking for a motion on the last item. Adjourn. That's to adjourn. Who wants to make that? Elaine should make it. I am make a motion to adjourn this meeting. And I need a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Oh.
Thank you guys so much.